What's up YouTube? Today's video is about put options guys. Put options explained easy. I want to show you guys step by step what you guys need to do to buy a put option, okay? Listen guys, you don't have to own a stock in order to buy a put option, okay? Anytime you're buying an option, you don't have to own the underlying stock or the underlying asset, okay? And so today, we're gonna buy a put, all right? But before we jump into it, let me introduce you to some terms that will go alongside each and every move we're gonna make today, okay? Put option money in this, guys. You have three terms you need to know. In the money, at the money, and out of the money. With in the money plays, guys, when we're talking put options, you are in the money if the stock price is lower than the strike price. In this particular case, if you're in the money, it means you're making money. Next, you have at the money. You are at the money if the stock price is the same as a strike price at expiration. Otherwise, guys, with at the money, it just simply means you're breaking even. And then, guys, we have out the money. Out of the money, simply put, guys, you are out of the money if the stock price is above the strike price at expiration. Long story short, to make it simple and plain, you are losing money if you're out the money with these short-term plays, okay? Listen, guys, I'm excited to teach you another element of options. Today, it's all about put options. Again, for those that don't know, a put means that we believe and we're making a bet that the stock price will go down. And so in today's example, guys, we're gonna use Nikola. You guys already know the news surrounding this particular stock. And as a result, these are the type of plays that you might wanna consider putting a put option on, all right? So to make it simple for you guys, right here, if you guys go to Nikola, type in a ticker symbol NKLA to pull up the stock, okay? And at the very bottom, you should see trade, okay? Once you guys hit trade, you guys will then have the ability to trade options and then your next screen should look like this, okay? And on this screen, this is the list of expiration dates, okay? For this example and the for sake of this video, we're gonna choose September 25th, okay? Okay, once you guys press September 25th, a new chain of options will then emerge, okay? And for the sake of our example, guys, we are gonna be buying a put. So as you can see, you should see the buy button highlighted and you should see the put button highlighted, okay? But as you can see, the current strike price right now will put us at $28.32. So the put that we wanna go for is the one that's at the 28 mark, okay? And so guys, when you press this button, then this next screen will come up, okay? And this screen is the screen that you will buy and place the order of your contract, okay? So the $28 put or the $28 strike price is the one that we're going after, guys. And for you guys, you will see this. One contract with a big price of 145. Remember, everything is by 100 shares. And so if you times 145 by 100, you get $145, okay? And so guys, for $145, we are gonna be placing a put on the cola, okay? And we are betting that it goes below $28, all right? And so guys, just that simple, this is what we would do in any instance if you guys believe you have the scoop on a particular stock that you might be watching, that you have on your watch list, or that you might be holding, and you don't see it moving and you think it's gonna make a move downward, you would then buy a put option on this particular play, okay? And on this one, we are buying a put. We're not selling a put, we're buying a put. You don't have to own the stock to do this, okay? And so listen guys, the number one question I get is how do I close the position, okay? So simply put, man, I wanna show you how do you close this same exact position when you are ready to take profits, okay? Because we bought a put to close, guys, we are gonna sell, but at the same strike price that we bought the original put for in the first place, okay? And so this is an example. You guys know our strike price on this one was $28. So in this example, you would choose the $28. And once you're ready to sell, your screen will then look like this. You will put the one contract because we originally bought one contract. You do everything the same, okay? The bid price was 145, so the ask price will be 145, and boom. Sure enough, you are out of the trade. But in this particular case, 
you would be in a profit assuming that you guess right that the stock will go down below $28. And so you would be in a profit and however much you see, don't be greedy guys, you already know I tell you that, but you would then be able to again, close out of this position and then take your profits, be done with the whole option play and either move on to the next one or just let your money sit in your buying power till we have another play, okay? So listen guys, not to belabor the point, buying a put is when you believe that the stock price will go down of the underlying asset that you might own or that you have your eye on, okay? And so again, this is a great way to offset either if you have a stock that's in your portfolio that's not performing and is just kind of always just lagging, that's a great way to earn money off of that particular play or if you know like bad news has hit with something, it could be anything in this particular case, we're talking about Nicola. And in this case, we think that the stock will continue to plummet. And so you will put a put on something like this to again, profit from something like a play like this one, all right? So listen guys, this is what buying a put is. We believe the stock will go down. For our one day play or our ODP, we will potentially do a put at some point in time. I'm still deciding if we're gonna do a call or a put this week. Since you just learned it, we might put it into action and do a put this week because the market has been down anyway, or we may wait to next week. I'm still deciding. You guys let me know if you wanna jump in this one right away and do a put, or if you wanna do a call for this week, okay? But either way, it's all about you guys, man. I hope this was helpful. I hope this step-by-step -step gave you some clarity in terms of how it would look all the way through buying a put to selling a put. Listen guys, if you have comments, leave them below. I'll grab them and add them to my next video. Listen, I make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and I'll see you guys in the next one.